girls in the black like a man dog what i want to know is why do i have to watch adverts after paying my tv license what was it 160 pounds for a tv license and i still have to watch adverts make it make sense point i thought of purchasing a tv license it, hello by the way <laughs> Just some thoughts. Welcome to another vlog. Does anyone else think it's ridiculous that we have to watch adverts as well as paying money for a TV license? I can't watch Channel 4 without a TV license. So I buy the TV license and you throw th four minutes of ads every five minutes into a, you know, half an hour show. I thought I was avoiding this, but apparently not. So um, just, just adult tings. I cut my finger earlier. Another adult ting. Hope we're doing well. Don't know why I'm throwing up the peace signs. I'm getting ready to go out, so I thought I would start another vlog. How are we doing? Um, I've half done my makeup. Blush is what I went to go get from the other room. I'm going with my Phase Zero blush. If I can get it open, otherwise I'll go with my... No, I can't get it open. I'll go with my Jane Ardell blush instead. I'm going to Victoria now to get some food, although I, I did get a cheeky takeaway at lunch. I don't get takeaways very often, but I just had this overwhelming urge to eat some banana tree, which if you haven't tried it, a lot of vegan options. It's a bit like Wagamama's, but it, okay, actually, it's not like Wagamama's. It's got a katsu curry that's very similar to Wagamama's, but it's Thai and Vietnamese food, not Japanese food. Anyway, the point is, I'm not very full, but we're gonna go get some food. Do you like my dress, by the way? I feel like, I feel kind of like a nursing mother. Do you know what I mean? Like a Victorian nursing mother, but a little bit more jazzy. It's like a maxi dress that I picked up from Trade. It's still got the label on it because I'm not sure. I couldn't try it on in the store and it's like a charity shop. I feel like it's not the most flattering thing in the world, but I quite like it, you know. And when I am a nursing mother, I've got lots of room for expansion in the belly area. So yeah, I might wear this. I hope I don't get too, oh no, is that a sweat patch? I don't think I can wear this. It's very weird weather at the moment because it's, Kind of like blustery and grey outside, but it's warm. It's like humid August weather. I wish it would just be hot or cold. I can't be doing with this blustery grey days that are actually quite warm, giving you sweat patches. I can't wear this because I will. I'm going to sweat. I can feel it in the air. So I'm going to finish doing my makeup, probably get changed, and then we're out the door. Okay, I switched dresses and I'm just stretching it out so you can't see the mess behind me. Tactical. <laughs> That was so nice. We actually met up to do book club. The book we read this month wasn't that great. So we only spent a couple of minutes on book club chat and then we just caught up. And I'm walking back, I'm gonna walk back through the park because um, I fancy a bit of a walk because I ate quite a lot of food um, that I didn't really need to eat. Because as I mentioned earlier, I did have a takeaway so I wasn't actually that hungry considering I had a big meal at midday but I had a poke bowl and some ice cream so I'm getting better at this vlogging thing guys getting less self-conscious still self-conscious but not too self-conscious I just realized a little bit I just nipped into there near Buckingham Palace there was an armed guard so that's why I hastily walked away because there was a man with a gun just want to update the vlog not trying to cause any nuisance but I think I'm going to walk through the park if my calculations are correct and I can take you past Buckingham Palace if I've got my route right, which I think I have. Oh, that was quite literally the side of Buckingham Palace. No wonder there was an armed guard. God, imagine if I'd got myself into an altercation on the vlog. Wow. Buckingham Palace. What can I tell you about Buckingham Palace? Fun facts. It's where the Queen hangs out sometimes, I think. The flag is up at the moment, which I think means she's in. I don't know. I should know that. I know in Windsor, if the flag's up, that means the Queen's staying there. So I don't know why they advertise that, because surely that's just asking for someone to 
break in and commit treason to our royal family. Let me show you what I'm looking at. Wow, that's Buckingham Palace. This is, I don't actually, right, I'm the worst London tour guide ever because I don't actually know what that is, but it's this little roundabout outside Buckingham Palace. I wasn't as smooth as I'd hoped. <laughs> How are we doing? It's Friday morning today and I am in a good mood actually considering um, I didn't have a lot of sleep last night. These eye gel eye mask things are slipping down my face. I'm trying to do a multi-masking session, hence the visage. Um, but the eye I'm using is Pacifica. Vegan Ceramide Hydration Fill Under Eye and Smile Line Jelly Patches with Lipids, Calendula and Marshmallow Fragrance Free biodega Biodegradable Biocellulose Dermatolic blah, blah 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 This is what they look like They're very cute but they are incredibly slimy Slipping down my face And then I've got the Bybee Purifying Greens Mask on And then the Evolve In any other gaps I've kind of splodged the Evolve Vitamin C Mask which I'll be honest, I don't really know if the Evolve mask does much. It's the Radiance Glow mask, but I just love using it because it smells like hot chocolate and I love a hot chocky. Today, my plan of attack is, well, I've got to work because it's a work day. So I'm just doing some emails and whatnot. Does anyone else keep a hairbrush on their desk? Because my hair never behaves and always before a call, I just think like, right, okay, quickly. Let's sort this barnet out. Essential for me on my desk. So my plan of attack today is to do my work, crack on like a diligent individual as I am. And then um, in the evening, I think I, I fancy a really long walk. I'm just in the mood for walking. So I'm planning on picking a landmark in London and then walking there because I don't think it would take that long to walk to Central. But I, I fancy doing something cheap because I'm spending money that I don't have. <laughs> which is never a good place to be in, but I had a takeaway for lunch yesterday. I know I keep saying it, but like, that's so unlike me. I'm not really a takeaway gal, but we didn't have anything in the house. And then I had the poke bowl in the evening. So splashing cash left, right and centre. Let me see. I don't really fancy like a two hour walk because if it's two hours there, two hours back. Say I was walking to Marble Arch. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys, you probably don't know, but they've spent two million pounds on this mound near Marble Arch. Two million pounds. Two million pounds. On this mound. And when I say mound, I mean mound. It's like a like a hill, a man-made hill next to Marble Arch, which is just it's just been the most catastrophically wasteful, useless project to try and get people shopping again. Which we won't we won't delve into in this video, but the idea was it was supposed to be like a cool destination. You can go and get selfies, but it just, the, they planned it so poorly. So you're supposed to have a beautiful view of the park. Well, it's summer now, so you can't see the park because all the trees are in the way. They planned it in winter, but it's now summer. So you get to the top of this mound and you kind of look around and think, I mean, maybe I could take you to the mound. We could kind of suss it out, see if it's any good. <laughs> How long would it take me to walk there? Oh, it'd only take me an hour. Yeah, okay, it'd only take me an hour. I'll walk to the mound, we'll go up together. I wonder what time it's open until. It's now free. Oh my gosh, the first thing that comes up is Marble Arch Mound, Laywooders <laughs> worst attraction in London. Let's go suss it out, guys. It's got 3.7 star reviews on Google. It's open until 8 p.m. Okay, cool, let's do that. That's my evening planned. This is a thing I've realized. I feel like I wanna make a video, like things you don't realize about London. I did know this already, but it even more so now tourists that come to London they want to get the tube everywhere obviously for the experience of saying oh, I've been on the tube but actually everything is very close together especially in central London it's pretty close together don't get me wrong if you live far out like if you you know live in a certain area that's quite far out you probably have to get the tube in but once you get into central London you may as well walk everywhere because everything you think oh I'm going from Common Garden to Leicester Square I'll get the tube just walk. It's so quick, just the walk. So yeah, my motto is to walk as much as possible if you can. I know not everybody can walk long distances, but if you can, do it. Oh my God, this mound actually looks catastrophic. I'm actually quite excited to go look at this mound. I hope you guys are excited too, because <laughs> lower your expectations. 
I'll insert a picture of what it looks like, but lower your expectations incredibly because I don't know what comes to mind when I say a mound, but it really is a mound. <laughs> God, what are these people thinking? Who pitches these ideas? Uh, was it government funded? I don't know, but who pitches these ideas? What and everyone else thinks? Yeah, that's a great idea. You know, we're on the cusp of a recession. Let's, you know, spend two million pounds on a mound. You could not write this stuff. Westminster Council. Oh my God. What? Anyways, I'll check in with you in a bit. Good morning, guys. It's the next day now. Yesterday was a bit of a write-off. This vlogging angle is really, really not so flattering, but yesterday was a bit of a write-off because it was literally thunderstorms and raining, and I thought this London attraction is going to be bad enough without climbing up a mound in the rain with the thunder and lightning threatening to strike me at any time. So um, it's a Saturday, and I'm heading into Central to do some cultural bits and then climb the mound as promised i was just gonna skip it and then i thought well i kind of bigged it up on the vlog so i have to do it now i love wearing shoes that go clip clop because it makes me feel important clip clop clip clop it's just such a satisfying sound isn't it anyway <laughs> this is such a cute little park by westminster that's westminster there so I just become a London tour channel. <laughs> but this little park is so sweet by Millbank. Oh, welcome to my swamp. Okay, we might have to go around, but trust me, it's a nice park. Let me take you the long way around. That's Westminster Abbey there. You may recognize it from Friends, where he says, you're a Westminster Crabby. I'm actually walking to Tate Britain. So I'm gonna meet my friend Slime, not her real name. And um, we're going to go to an exhibition, enjoy some uh, culture, and yeah, it'll be nice to catch up. She works at a museum in London. She's very cultured. She's one of my most cultured friends. Slime, if you watch this, you, I'd say you're probably my most cultured friend. She's very knowledgeable, knows a lot about history and stuff. So yeah, it should be quite a cultured afternoon. And then I'll climb the mound. I promise I'll get there. So this is a little park. What's it called? Victoria Tower Gardens. And there's this lovely little monument. God, I feel like you know when you're getting old because you start to appreciate architecture and monuments and stuff that you really wouldn't pay attention to when you were a teenager. But I just love this little monument. It's got such an interesting, almost like Moroccan feel to it. It's got a, quite a Parisian vibe to it because then you're right on the water and it smells like I would say the seaside. It's weirdly quiet today, she says, as there's a police car in the background. But it's not as busy as I thought it would be for a Saturday. We're on the cusp of going south of the river. Over there is Vauxhall. I'm really getting my bearings. I've been to all these places individually, but it's not until you walk everywhere that you start to um, know it by memory. But yeah, I think this is Lambeth Bridge, correct me if I'm wrong. And that's the studio we've used for work before. Cool, cool, cool. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, it's not even a, it's covered. What does it mean? Dip out, I'll take one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it 
Everyone else getting their photos taken. But... What we do this. Don't look at my nails, but that's a very cute. Yeah, put your hand on it. Show us your nails. You know this one's chips. Nice one of mine. Becky Mojo. Wow. Do you get iced oat latte on the rocks? I don't know how much milk. Becky, last time I was I'm actually here. Thank you so much. I was actually really offended because. You put so many pictures up and you I knew you were going to say that. Them. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> My mum was like, Becky, Selena, I didn't realise that. I was like, I was fucking there. <laughs> also, oh, I, I don't know, even they have they Instagram, do. so I didn't even know she did that. <laughs> it's like, you I nearly just... replied and I was like, don't make a big deal. I was really Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Wow. wow. It's amazing. Oh, goodness me. Give yeah, us olives. She can have the olives. I'm not gluten free for today. <laughs> The, I think that's tafanard. Tafanard, olive oil. Wow, yeah, this is so sweet. This is um, Life Goddess. Here we go. Greek food. Very excited. Dinner is served. Last I mean, time we went out for lunch, she had aubergine. I, I find aubergine a bit tricky. Sometimes I really like it, sometimes I'm not so sure about it. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the texture of aubergine, but I'm hoping this is going to be nice that and stuff. That salad is so sweetly done. Yeah, that is so cute. Wrapped around it. And then we've got some feta over here. Non-vegan apparently is really good. In filo. And then we've got gluten-free spread. Mm -hmm. Beans and a Greek salad. Oh, delightful. That Greek is salad it good? does look really nice. Oh yeah. It does look amazing. Okay, let's begin. I'm wearing my jumper that I got in the charity shop the other week on a vlog. It's getting good. Good wear of it, it's so soft. It's a little bit hot today to be wearing a jumper, but I don't have anything on underneath, so I can't take it off. Rookie move that, rookie move. Oh, I picked my spot in the toilets, can you see it? Just leave it careful. It doesn't look bad though. It's quite red and angry. Right, we're finally making our way to the mound now. This has been the climax of the vlog. Oh, don't look at the spot. Why did I squeeze it? I've got some one. concealer with you. Yeah, I might borrow some if that's okay. Um, this has been what the vlog has been building up to, going to this mound. And the weather has really um, improved, yeah. So we're just walking through. This is Soho Square. Nice little area to sit and chill. We just got served by a really rude lady and accessorised. Basically, I wear one pair of earrings, not this pair, day in, day out, and I've somehow lost them. And there's this one pair from Accessorize. It's not necessarily like an ethical, sustainable shop, but they're the one pair that don't irritate my ears. So I just had to go in and repurchase that same pair of earrings because they're gold-plated. And the lady was so rude. She was like, just completely blanking us for ages. And then got annoyed because we went to the wrong counter, but she told us to go to the other counter. And then she just, she handed it to me, didn't even say thank you, bye. She just handed it to me. And I love, in, in situations like that, I love just to be extra, extra nice, just to kind of rub it in their face. But it's like, oh, thank you so much. See you later, bye. Have a great day. Let's kill them with kindness. This mask really pings out my ears. And um, we're just going through Chinatown now. I feel like we're going a very weird route to get to Marble Arch. So we might need to, we're trying to like go right, I think. It's very exciting. We start the ascent. Pigeons love it. I mean, it is a bit creepy that you, you like 
you can see yeah I'm not sure about that well this is it folks get a great view of this a little bit of Oxford Street see the eye the shard I mean it's all right but I mean it's nothing you couldn't get at like a rooftop bar yeah. or I mean over here you're supposed to be able to see like the whole of the park but it's a lot of foliage I mean I, I didn't have high expectations but I'm still slightly underwhelmed the sky looks cool though my mask off so there we have it folks my little trip to the mound was as underwhelming <laughs> as i expected it to be i hope you enjoyed coming along with me climbing right to the top let me know what you think do you think it was worth two million pounds i think i can guess your answer it's absolutely chucking it down my brain now uh, but i'm gonna go home and i think i'll wrap this vlog up here it's been a bit of a <laughs> whirlwind tour but i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you're doing well i'll see you soon Hello, me again. I bet you thought you've seen the last of me in this vlog, but I just wanted to jump in here at the end because I'm kind of uploading this video in real time-ish. Or well, the day after. The day after today, I, it will be live. So when you're watching it, it this is yesterday. <sighs> Why do I have to make everything so complicated? <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to jump in as I'm uploading it in semi-real time to say thank you so much for your comments on my recent chit chat video it's just so nice to connect with other introverts and people who have experienced similar things it's just such a privilege so thank you so much if you left if you watched that video or did left a comment didn't leave a comment um regardless i appreciate it greatly i haven't quite come up with what i'm going to change my username to but as soon as i know i'll share that information with you but yeah i really appreciate it and i hope you have a wonderful sunday or whenever you watch this hope you're having a good time and i will hopefully see you very soon bye <laughs>